So today I want to show you a really fun and kind of different look for me that I think would be really nice for New Year's Eve. This was so fun for me to do because I usually don't really play around with colors or do anything like too crazy on my eyes. But I got this eyeshadow a few weeks ago and I've been wanting to do a look using it. It's this really pretty like blue, green, kind of like reminds me a bit of like a peacock color. So this is the look that I came up with and I love the way that it came out. It has that really beautiful color to it but it's not too over the top. It's a little bit smoky and I think it's just like perfect party makeup. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So first I already moisturized and primed my skin using the Embryolisse face cream. I absolutely love this moisturizer. Then my favorite foundation right now has been the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation. The coverage is amazing but it's still very lightweight and comfortable to wear. Then I'm taking my beauty blender, which I've already wet, but I'm just going to re-dampen it a little bit. I really like having it quite damp. It just blends out the foundation really nice that way. It gives a really flawless finish to the skin. And this is my favorite way to apply foundation. It does take a little bit longer than, say, blending it out with a regular foundation brush, but I think it's totally worth it, especially if you're going out for like a special occasion. The effect is really pretty and very natural, but it still allows for a pretty full coverage look. So I'm just bouncing that onto my skin to blend out the foundation. I'm not really rubbing it or dragging it, really focusing on these like bouncing motions all over my face. Next, I'm just going to neutralize any darkness on my skin with this NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. I'm taking that right underneath my eyes, and then I'm also taking that over any blemishes and also around the sides of my mouth where I tend to have a little bit of darkness. And then again, just taking my Beauty Blender and I'm just bouncing that on top of my skin to blend that concealer in. Next, to highlight and brighten the skin, I'm taking another NARS concealer, but in a lighter shade. This is in Custard, and I'm taking that in the very inner corners of my eyes and also slightly up onto the sides of my nose and then also on top of my cheekbone and kind of take it in this like triangle shape right below my eye. And this will allow a lot of light and brightness into the center part of your face, which I think is very flattering, especially if you're going for a more like glam look and you're gonna be taking photos. I think this looks really, really nice. And then again, taking my damp beauty blender to blend that into my skin. Next, I'm just removing any foundation or concealer that got on my lips. And now it's time to set the skin. So first, I'm going to bake my under eyes, which sounds crazy, but it works really well. It's a great technique. So I'm taking my loose translucent powder and I'm just getting my beauty blender in there, picking up some product, and I'm just going to press that underneath my eyes using a generous amount of that powder. This will help to really set that concealer and the excess powder will catch any of the fallout from the shadows that we can just brush away afterwards. And I'm also setting the area around my mouth just to prevent those little smile line creases from happening. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking my favorite powder right now, which is the Alima Pure One. It is amazing. And I'm taking that with my Sonia Kashuk blush brush. And I'm just going to swirl a very light layer of that all over my skin to set the rest of the foundation. So I'm just gonna let that excess under eye powder sit there and I'm going to move on to my brows using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, which is my favorite. And I'm first just going to brush out the brows and then using the lightest color first, I'm going to be applying this to the inner half of my brow. And I really like to kind of make my brows look a little bit more arched and lifted and also a little bit fuller. And then using the darker shade, I apply that to the outer half of the brow, so kind of like on the tail end side. And then I just blend those together and also use the spoolie to brush it in. 
So I already went ahead and did one eye and I'm just reapplying a little bit more of that loose powder just underneath the eye so it can catch any fallout from the shadows. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is a contour palette, but I love using this on my eyes as well. So first I'm applying this yellow toned highlight all over the lid. This will just allow any shadows that we put on top to blend out really easy. Then I'm taking this medium toned brown using a super fluffy crease brush, just making sure to tap off the excess. So I'm applying that in my crease, but then also winging it out slightly towards the edge just to create a really nice kind of natural shadow and a little bit more depth and smokiness to the eyes. Then using a slightly denser blending brush, I'm taking the darkest brown from the palette and I'm focusing this more in the actual crease of my lid and I'm not taking it up as far as I did with the lighter brown, but again, just really focusing on creating that kind of sideways S shape where the shadow goes out a little bit at the corner. This just helps to create a little bit more depth and dimension to the eyes and again giving it a bit more of that smoky feel and I think it's a great base to apply a colorful eyeshadow because it really will allow that shadow to look really nice and blended. And at around this point I remembered that I completely forgot to add an eyeshadow primer which normally is not such a big deal but if you're going to be using a more brighter color it is really helpful so I'm just going to be applying a small amount to the actual lid portion, kind of where I don't have any shadow yet, but adding an eyeshadow primer can definitely help your eye makeup to go on brighter, smoother, and just help make it last longer and prevent those little crease marks from happening. So yes, totally forgot about that, but it's okay, we fixed it. Okay, so moving on to that beautiful shadow that I'm so excited about. It's such a pretty color. I'm going to be taking a pretty dense um, shadow brush. It's actually called a blending brush, but I do use it to actually pack on the shadow. And I did wet my eyeshadow brush. It just helps make the eyeshadow go on a lot more pigmented and stronger looking, so I recommend doing that. And I'm just really going to pat and kind of press that shadow onto my lid. And then using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to soften that edge of the color just to kind of make it blend in a little bit more with the browns that we added into the crease. And with any shimmery color, it's very normal that once you start blending, it kind of starts to lose the shimmer. So we're going to go back in with a second layer of that blue and it's really going to make it pop. But before doing that, I'm just redefining finding the crease color a little using that darker brown shade and I'm also going to take some of that brown and just place it underneath my lower lash line. So again just making sure that my eyeshadow brush is wet and dampened I'm going to take a bit more of that shadow and just press that onto the mobile part of the lid. And then just ever so slightly I'm going to just kind of soften that edge and blend a little bit into the crease. Next I'm taking this beautiful gold shadow which I actually also use as a highlight, it's also by Kiko, and I'm taking that into the inner corners of my eyes. Just for a little bit of definition on the lower lash line, I'm going to take this deep dark matte brown color with a flat angled brush and I'm just going to press that on my lower lashes and then I'm taking my blending brush to blend that in. So now I'm just going to apply some black liner to my waterline and then taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner I'm going to give myself a little bit of a cat wing. So I'm just making a flick at the outer corner and then just trying to stay really close to my lashes. I do have a full video explaining step by step how I do my liner. I will link that below if you guys are interested. And then I'm just going to go over that with my NYC liner which will help to darken it and also mattify that black. Next I'm going to apply some falsies, these are my favorites, they are by Ardell and they are the Demi Wispies. They are a little bit long so I do like to cut off about that much from the inner corner and then just place those right on top of my natural lashes and then I like to just kind of press down on the lash band just to make sure that they're really set in place and then I take my NYC liner again and just kind of go over that lash band just to make sure that it's covered and there's no like shiny 
glue that can kind of peek through. And then just to vamp up the lashes even more, I'm applying some mascara to both upper and lower lashes. So next, I'm going to contour and bronze up my skin using this Hoola bronzer. And I love the brush that this comes with. It is perfect for contouring. So I'm focusing this on the hollows of my cheeks and really sculpting my face. And then I also like to turn that brush to blend that color in. I also like to get my forehead and just make it look nice and bronzed and sun-kissed. Then I do the same thing on the other side and I also do the sides of my nose and my jawline. And then for blush, I'm using this beautiful one by Milani in the shade Tea Rose. And I'm going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then sweeping it backwards. It'll give a really pretty like hint of color on your cheeks and it just makes your face look so pretty. I love blush, especially like pink blushes like this. And I love my skin to be nice and glowing and healthy looking. So I'm taking that same highlight that we put on the inner corners of the eyes and I'm applying that to my cheekbones and being very generous with this and just kind of like dusting it over my cheeks and also taking it down the center of my nose, getting the tip of my nose as well. And then onto lips, I'm taking this beautiful pinky nude lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner. And I'm going to slightly overdraw just the very center portion of my lips. And I'm also going to fill in my lips with this color. This lip liner is waterproof, so it's very, very long wearing and it's very pigmented. And then I'm applying this nude pink lipstick by NARS in the shade Raquel on top. This is another one of my favorites. I'm focusing this mostly on the center part of the lips and then blending it outwards. And also just kind of soften that line from the lip liner just to make it look a little bit more natural and blended. And then for the final touch, I'm taking my Caudalie Beauty Elixir water, just shaking that up and then applying some to my face. This is just going to help make all the makeup kind of just melt into your skin. So that is the completed makeup look and I'm going to show you my outfit. First, I'm putting on these beautiful gold studded earrings that I got years and years ago. They're one of my favorite pairs. I believe they're from Forever 21. And this is one of my favorite dresses that I own. It's by Alice and Olivia. I got it in New York a few months ago. I love everything about this dress. I love the peplum. I love the floral lace. I love the cutout on the back. I just think it's such a feminine and classic dress. It's like the perfect little black dress. And because it's pretty cold right now, I also put on these black tights that are pretty thick, so they do keep me quite warm. And for shoes, I'm wearing these black strappy heels that I got from Zara. And again, because it is quite cold, I have to put something on top. So first I'm layering on this black vest and then I put on this black peplum jacket, which I've also had for years and it keeps me warm. So I'm keeping this outfit all black and this is one of my statement kind of looks that I love to wear when I go out. It's super comfortable and girly, but it's still a little bit kind of like edgier. It's not, you know, too, too girly, which is the style that I like. is the completed look with makeup and outfit. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will have a list and links to all the products that I use. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you will all have a really nice New Year's Eve, even if you go out, stay home, whatever you end up doing. I hope that you guys have a really nice night. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can follow me on my social media. I am on Instagram and Snapchat and both of those are at Annie Jeff. Free. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye guys!